Ladies and coders, today we'll look at my 2024 coding projects I did this year. Garbage pile. All of them are in a garbage pile because they did not deliver. They only this one, this one project was pretty good, but all the rest of them are pretty garbage, and you'll see why in a second. Let us look at my latest coding project. It's not yet in the garbage pile because I'm still building this, but it is on its way to the garbage pile. <laughs> I am not yet sure where this will be delivered to. I just made this wait list where I ask people if they want cool 3D landing pages. So something like this is a good example. And I just posted this on Reddit and Twitter and I asked people, do you think it's a good idea? One got 6K, another one 8K, 400. But this one was the best one where I asked, is my startup idea garbage? <laughs> and uh, you know what happened, absolute garbage. Uh, sorry, it's garbage. A lot of text. So yes, your idea is garbage. <laughs> but actually, some of them did leave some valid feedback. Like this guy said that the peak of the 3D trend has already passed. But because I am not the smartest person, I thought, hey, I'll just redesign this waitlist to make it look cooler. And I did a bunch of design stuff until I landed on this idea, which then happened and I made this thing which is pretty cool in my opinion. You go your mouse here, heart emoji, it jumps, it explains the thing really well, it still asks for the email here so pretty cool waitlist in my opinion. And this is business 101 on idea validation. If we go to page one in the business book, we'll see how to validate an idea. You make an MVP or a waitlist and you ask people for their email. And if I get many emails, that means the idea is good. <laughs> and if there are not many emails, the idea is pretty bad. And I got eight emails in my waitlist. I personally think is uh, not enough. Right now I'm placing the idea in the almost garbage pile because I am not sure whether this is gonna <laughs> work out or not. The next project is just code. If you follow me for a while, you probably have seen this, so I'll do will keep it short. Some good takeoffs. First of all, I think the domain name is pretty legit. Just code dot lol. I think uh, <laughs> I personally think it's pretty cool. The second thing that is cool about it <laughs> is the landing page. Uh, you can look at emojis. You can look around. I think that's I don't I don't I personally think that's pretty cool. And again, the thing is free and it's a spin on courses. So instead of having things explained to you, you just have milestones and you have hints and you basically try to do those milestones based on the hints. And not many people are using this because it's probably not a good idea. As we can see by the user base, the past seven days, one to two users using this a week, which is uh, pretty bad. <laughs> but at least I did learn a lot about coding a full stack website, which is always a good learning and something I'll keep forever. So I don't regret making this. So yeah, this project is definitely in the trash pile. But the next project I am talking about is the one at the top of the trash can, the green one on top, the king of the pile, the only one that is somewhat successful. I am talking about my Figma plugin, uh, character illustration thing. How it works is you choose one of these categories. So like casual, you choose one of these people. So like a designer, and then you can just take any image you want and bam, it gets added into Figma. All of this is completely free, but I will tell you how I'm making a tiny bit of money. And the plugin is somewhat popular. It has around 15,000 storage requests. A storage request is basically just one person clicking on the image. So that's one 15,000 times that happens a week. But it does cost something to run this. Superbase free plan supports up to one gigabyte, but I have three gigabytes. And because of that, I have to upgrade to pro, which then allows you 100 gigabytes, which I think is an absolute scam. And I end up paying $45 a month for this plugin, which I think is POV. I look at my super base invoice every month. Let's quickly get back to how I am making money with this plugin. 
because uh, everything is completely and utterly free. So you can click and add images. You don't have to sign up with an email. You don't have to do anything. But there is a little blue thing here that says get the 3D Blender files. And when you click that, you get redirected to the place where I sell all of the 3D characters. We got like two sales. So that's another $80. These next projects are pretty cool because they are the ones that I did for in my freelancing journey. So all of these three ones, and we can start with the first one. So $40 one, uh, it was simple. You basically selected material one, then you click here material two, and then here material three, and then you can change colors while you click on stuff. So this green one to yellow, blue, red, blah, blah, blah. And then you can download that image. Shablam. I don't really know what this was for. I think it was just testing some ideas. I got paid $40. It was my very first freelancing job as a coder. It was awesome. Uh, the next project was the $200 one, which I did in February. Uh, this guy was rebuilding his website and he wanted to showcase the people that work there in 3D. And I made the first MVP version of it where you could like customize the lights, change the colors of them. But this was not good enough. So we tried a second version where we had these baked lights, which basically meant that these lights won't work anymore, but it looked a lot cooler. And you had this like custom animation on click. He liked it a lot and gave me like a really good feedback. And the last latest project, which I did for $600 uh, is this one. If you watch my latest video, I talk about it more, but, but basically if you go under this URL, you can test it yourself, but it's like just a simple SVG editor where you can do stuff. You can backlight it. You can uh, change the color of the light. And uh, also honorable mentions, if we're at the topic of freelancing, I quickly wanted to mention again, my project readydeveloper.me project I did back in 2023. Uh, and this project gets me invites on Upwork all the time. Every few days, someone sends me an invite for their project. I spent three months making this. So it's genuinely my proudest project yet, but I hope I will make something cooler in 2025. Also, I forgot I made a Chrome extension that quizzes you after you watch YouTube shorts for too much. Uh, it is free as well. Nobody uses it. <laughs> so it's definitely going or is in the garbage pile, but it was a fun project. Took me like two weeks. Uh, highly recommend making Chrome extensions. It's really fun. Tools, my doodlies. <laughs> I wanted to talk about the tools that I use to do all of my coding project. Figma, this is where I gather design, ideas, inspirations. This is where I actually make the wireframes, which then transform into actual designs. And this is where I actually made this video itself. I just really, really like this software. The next second tool that I use the most Visual Studio, not. <laughs> I used to use Visual Studio Code for like the last five years, I switched to Cursor. So since two months or three, I switched to what these four chads made. Cursor is a fork. That's just a smart way of saying a copy of VS Code. So it is technically the same software. These guys basically integrated the AI aspect of coding just a lot better. You're able to modify things and talk with AI and it's just they just did a lot better job. Just these guys are just awesome. Big Chad energy right here. Actually, those two tools are the main ones I use. There are some other ones like Vercel, VO, Google, Stack Overflow, Chad GDP. All I need is Figma and Cursor and they're both free. So you don't need anything else to do your projects. Remember this one part where I said I'm spending $45 a month for just hosting some images. I was not able to let that slide. I wanted to change it. And I spent like two days making my own VPS. Sounds complicated. It's just a computer in the sky that's online 24 seven. And instead of a keyboard and a mousey, you use this black scary terminal box to use it. <laughs> Basically, I was yapping for 15 minutes on how I created my own VPS, uh, which is really cool, but absolutely boring. But this boringness ended up saving me 
40 dollars because now i'm only paying three dollars a month and after i stopped yapping for some reason i gave this motivational speech about doing the stuff on your own i i, I don't know what i'm trying to say is that learning new tools is highly recommended i'll be doing that from now on i won't be using all these super bases baba bases i'll be making my own stuff because this is really easy and i'm saving so much money this is crazy i'm not I, I, if you enjoyed this video i do recommend you check out my last video about freelancing um i do think it's pretty cool and i have a few other videos 